Hello, I'm Philip Martin, an agricultural labor economist at the University of California, Davis, and editor of two newsletters, Migration News and Rural Migration News. Today, I want to explore with you a question. Would apples and oranges become luxury goods without immigrant workers to hold down farm wages? Let's look at the data. Farm labor accounts for only about 10 cents of each $1 spent on apples and oranges at supermarkets. The average American family spends about $7.50 a week on fresh fruits and vegetables, which includes about 75 cents for farm workers. If there were fewer immigrant workers and farm wages rose 40 percent, as they did in the mid-1960s after the end of the Bracero program, the extra cost to the typical family would be about $14 a year, the cost of two movie tickets. The U.S. government collects data on the typical spending patterns of consumer units, what we used to call families or households. In 2007, there were 120 million consumer units. They had an average two and a half people, 1.3 earners, and almost two cars. Average consumer unit income before taxes was $63,000, and expenditures averaged almost $50,000. These expenditures included $6,100 for food, making spending on food 12% of total expenditures. Food spending was split between food at home, which cost about $67 a week, and food bought away from home, which cost about $52 a week. The cost of food away from home largely reflects convenience, the atmosphere of restaurants, and other factors not related to food costs. Americans spend almost three times more on housing than on food, and more on health care than on food at home. Much of the food consumed at home does not involve immigrant farm workers, including cereal and bakery products. Immigrant farm workers are most closely associated with fresh fruits and vegetables. The average American spends relatively little on these commodities, which range from apples to zucchini. In 2007, the average consumer unit spent under $7.50 a week on fresh fruits and vegetables. By comparison, a typical household spent almost $9 a week on alcoholic beverages. Even though strawberries are picked directly into the containers in which they are sold, and a head of iceberg lettuce gets its film wrapper in the field, farmers get a small share of the retail food dollar, 30% of the average retail price for fresh fruits and 25% of the average retail price of fresh vegetables. This means that just over a quarter of average consumer unit spending on fresh fruits and vegetables goes to farmers, about $110 a year. Farm labor costs are usually less than a third of farmers' revenues. This means that a consumer who pays $1 for a pound of apples or $1 for a head of lettuce is providing 30 cents to farmers and 10 cents to farm workers. The average American eats less than 20 pounds of apples a year and about 10 heads of iceberg lettuce so that the cost of farm labor is $2 a year for apples and $1 a year for lettuce. About three-fourths of the workers on U.S. crop farms are immigrants, and over half of them are not authorized to work in the United States. Farm work is generally a job, not a career. Since most farm workers find non-farm jobs after less than a decade of U.S. farm work, Farmers depend on newcomers to replace those who move up the U.S. job ladder. What would happen to fruit and vegetable prices if the influx of newcomer immigrants to replace workers who move up in the United States were slowed or stopped? Almost 5 million Mexican braceros were admitted to the United States to do farm work between 1942 and 64. The end of the Bracero program during the civil rights era of the 1960s supported the rise of the United Farm Workers Union, which won a 40% wage increase for table grape harvesters in 1966, largely because Bracero workers were not available. If immigration reform ended the influx of farm workers and history repeated itself, how would consumers be affected? The average earnings of field workers were $9 an hour in 2007, according to a USDA survey of farm workers. So a 
increase would raise farm worker earnings almost $4 to over $13 an hour. Farm workers would still earn less than the average U.S. production worker, who earns about $18 an hour. What would happen if this farm worker wage increase were passed on to consumers? The 10 cent farm labor cost in a $1 pound of apples would rise to 14 cents, and the retail price would rise from $1 to $1.04 a pound. For a typical household, a 40% increase in farm labor costs translates into a 4% increase in retail prices. What does a 4% increase in fresh fruit and vegetable prices mean for a typical American household? It means spending an additional $14 a year on everything from fresh apples to oranges and lettuce and tomatoes. But what does a 40% wage increase mean for a typical farm worker? Seasonal farm workers are employed about 1,000 hours a year, and their average earnings would rise from $9,000 to $13,000, lifting them above the federal poverty line. Americans spend relatively little on food because they have high incomes and a productive agriculture. In a typical year, Americans spend more on alcoholic beverages than they do on fresh fruits and vegetables. If immigration reform reduced the influx of farm workers and farm wages rose as they did at the end of the Bracero program, American households would spend a little more on fresh fruits and vegetables, but farm worker earnings would rise significantly. Thanks for watching. If you would like to learn more about migration and labor issues and find links to the data we have been discussing, please visit us at Migration Dialogue.